once we have pulled the hose back here, we're going to come here and get the our garden or our garden hose, our uh, our fitting here, our gun. Now, whenever we are turning this valve on, don't always just hold it here and turn this on. I always try to hold this valve and turn this on because what can happen is if we hold it up here and turn this on, it will blow this out, it will hit your arm right here, and it hurts. And the reason why I know that is, is because I've done it a time or two or three or four. So, again, this isn't going to be the best side to show how to do it. I'm going to just show you how to, we're going to start, and then in the next side, I will actually get better video of the, what I need to do here. So, I'm going to walk my way all the way to this side here. And um, this here is a little bit tough because it's got this overhang and they didn't move anything. So I'm actually not going to spray up in there. I'm going to just spray the house. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to see if I can get soap. And the way I need to make sure that I get soap is I'm just going to spray the building here. And you'll see until some soap starts coming out. Right now, we're just in water so this isn't going to clean nothing so we actually got some pigment and you can also see the little bit of a foam there and that is how we know we got soap now being that we're at the top we need to go to our five degree nozzle so we can spray there when we get going here we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way up and we're going to do it in sections and we're just going to soap all the way across we're going to get the windows we're going to get everything we need to clean here to do this. And right now, the soap, you can't even see the pigment in it, so the wind is getting me too. All right, so we're going to go all the way across. We're not doing none of this stuff here. We're doing nice, smooth things. And I know you might not be able to see it here, and I will show it all again when we do that next thing. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I will hit this gutter down here. And just spray across there. All right. So once I have washed all the way across the house here, the next thing I'm going to do is is I'm I'm going to let this sell set. Um, we got to let dwell time, and dwell time is letting the chemical do its job. We're not going to go and keep spraying it just because it's green on the side here. We're not going to spray it and spray it and spray it. Now, if you didn't get that gutter good. Sometimes I'll hit that gutter one more time, and I'll show you another time when I'm actually going to hit that gutter to make sure that gutter gets clean and wet. And it is all wet, and that is good. So the next thing is, I'm right here at this corner. I'm going to set the gun down right here at the corner, and I'm going to go back and turn my soap off. Once I have come back here to turn off my hose and turn off my soap, I mean turn off my soap, the next thing I need to do is, is i got to walk back here to this side of the house, right? So I still have a full line of soap. I just don't want to sit here and spray this soap out. This stuff is valuable, right? Gutters or me usually need to hit two to three times. So if there isn't nothing green that we didn't clean the first time, then we will take the soap in here and we will clean that gutter one more time all the way down through there until all that soap's out. And what this will allow us to do is then we'll be able to clean. You can see how all of it's coming clean, and that's what we want. So I'm not going to just sit here and let this soap go to waste. I'm actually going to spray that gutter all the way across and let that soap come out. See, we're going to soap that real good one more time. And we still have soap. There we go. Now we're rinsing. Now I'm actually going to take this down to my 5-degree nozzle. And I will rinse this all down and, and, and make sure that it's all clean. Now, it is pretty nasty. And if you got to hit it twice, sometimes you just got to hit it twice. But again, we're just going to take this five degree nozzle. We're going to come across here. And I, I work it in sections. And I know, I don't know if you're able to see it right now, but I will be doing a better one on the next side. We're going to work this all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to move over to the next section. We'll, and I usually, would, and I can work a pretty large section, and I can make sure everything is clean and nice and good and ready to go. You can see that mold came right off, 
and that's what we want. Again, I'm going to spray it right here and just work this all nice down. We're going to clean the windows good. We're going to make sure that the windows will get good and rinsed so that way that um, they don't look real nasty and dirty. We don't really want to spray. Um, I mean, as long as we're doing a nice pattern over them, that is fine. We don't want to try to spray in, you know, like right there where I'm spraying in between the two windows or around the edges. And this is why we want to make sure these windows are closed before we spray up there too. All right. So this is part of hose management. Once we get to this corner here, we need to soap and rinse this side here. So what I do is, is I come to the corner of the house and I am going to my camera. I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to grab the hose and I'm going to go up to the corner of the house. That way I'll be able to soap the house and then I will be able to do my next spot. So this is very important to keep our hose managed well and that kind of thing like that. I'm going to set the hose down right at this corner here and then I'm going to go and turn off my soap over here on the truck and that way it will be ready to go soap and line. Again, we have turned we have turned our soap on. Now, I'm in my five degree. When I'm one story, maybe even two, I can use my 25 degree nozzle and use a lot less soap and it works just fine. So I'm going to switch to nozzle. Now, one thing you never want to do is, is point this out a window, point it at a door, point it into a big bush that making sure this isn't on. I always try to point it kind of down here, and that way when that kicks on, it's not going to shoot it out. It will shoot it out. It will break windows, all that kind of thing. So, again, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to um, wait till I start seeing some soap, and you'll see some bubbles coming out, and that's how we know our soap is on. Um, there's our blue soap with some bubbles. So the next thing we got to watch too, a lot of times guys will start right here and start spraying right here. The problem with that is, is we have a gutter here. With that gutter, we need to spray this side. We need to come over here and spray this side. Because what will happen is, if we only hit here, you'll leave green dirt, all kinds of crap, all the way up that back of that thing. And that's not a good thing. That is a callback or you're going to have to clean it. So I usually just kind of come, we don't have to be right here on the end. Obviously we do to get that, but you can see how fast that went right there and that came right there. So I'm going to move down. I'm not going to try to do the whole house in one section. I'm going to just do one section. I'm going to start here on the bottom and I'm going to just work my way up with a nice myth. It's all about... Um, the soap doing the work. It's not about us keep spraying and spraying and spraying. That's not going to actually clean it. That does no good for us. So now I can see where I've been right here. I'm going to move down a little bit further. I can probably hit this whole section right here. Again, I'm going to just start, go nice across, maybe overlap a little bit, nice across, go over, come up here and hit this right here. Now this is pretty nasty. I'm not going to keep spraying, obviously. I'm going to spray it. It might have to be sprayed one more time, and that is it. Now, while this is sitting, I'm going to do this whole side of the house. And I'm going to move it here so you'll be able to see me back here, too. All right, so the next thing is, is I'm going to keep right on going around here and doing the same thing. Start at the bottom. Just work my way right up through there. And I'm going to work this until I can't reach no more. And again, it's not about spraying all this till you can't see it no more. Again, this is all green. We're not going to keep hitting this right here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to spray across. And we can do some pretty big laps here. We don't have to get right up on this. You can see I can go pretty far up. And actually, this pump here, I can go two stories. And, and then I'll, I'm going to change out my nozzle. So I go to five degree, and then I'm going to finish up this house with my five degree nozzle. And I'm going to go all the way up to the top, and I might have to get at it a little bit angle here to reach this right back in here. And then I need to hit this angle right here. And again, you can see that that green is there, but we're not going to just keep spraying that green. We're going to let it do its job, and then we 
um, we'll rinse it, and then if it's still there again, we will um, hit it again. And being that we're still on this side of the house, I'm going to go ahead and hit this side and go all the way up to this very top here. Make sure we get them gables good. That white on that gable, sometimes where all that heat is up there, might not get clean. It'll dry pretty quick. While I'm letting all this sit and dwell, I got to go back and turn off my soap. Now these gutters are still pretty dirty. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to walk all the way up there. And when I do it, I'm going to actually spray all this one more time just to make sure that these gutters come clean for me. Again, I'm going to get to the edge of the house here. And then I'm going to go turn off my soap. And then we'll come back and rinse it all off. So now that I've turned my soap off, I still have my whole line of soap. I'm in my five degree nozzle. If I need to change my nozzle, I'm going to make sure I don't point out a window, that kind of thing. So this gutter has come fairly much, pretty much clean, but I'm going to still hit what I have in here, or I may even find this side, especially if they're the really dirty side. And I'm going to just kind of come back through here. And I may, since I know I have a lot of dirt over here, I'm going to hit this just one more time, just to make sure that I might not have to hit it again later on. So again, I'm going to hit that gutter. And once I come back here to the front, I should be on, on non-soap. And now I'm going to rinse. Again, when I'm rinsing, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to work my way down and I'm going to flow. Now this is a 10 gallon a minute pump and I'm really putting out some water so I can move really fast. Now, if I was only having a four down a minute, I would not be able to move this fast. I mean, I can move, but I can't move this fast because this thing here is like a machine gun versus a PB gun. So I can really hit this and I'm overlapping and I'm making sure that I'm clean as I come down. And this way, I'm actually hitting every slat as I come. And that way it's all nice and clean and we're ready to rock and roll. If I got a little stuff, I can hit it. You can see it's just coming right off and it's coming perfectly clean and that's exactly what we want. So, and then I'm going to move over here and I'm going to hit this. Again, I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way down and we're just going to clean this. I can clean this whole section at one time and no problem at all. And that's what we want. Again, I'm not doing this right here, all kinds of stuff people try to do. Just get in a nice, smooth um, method, and this will work all you need to do to make it work and make it clean right. All right, and then the next thing is I will come over here, and I will, I'm going to get up at the very top, start cleaning at the top, let all the dirt come down, get over there where it was kind of funky, and again, sometimes if... If the wind is blowing like it is right now, it's coming this way, stand on this side. Let that stuff go that way. Let the chemical go that way so you, that way you're not getting into it and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, I can just come right on down through here. And again, if, if, if it's still green, that's fine. Rinse it. We'll just have to come back and hit it one more time and... Uh, and hit it one more time and let it do its thing, dwell, and all that kind of great stuff. And uh, we'll be able to hit it the next time. But if we, if we knock all the big stuff off, then that way, when we come back to rinse it again and soap it, it will come right off and we don't have to worry about it. Um, it most of it, you can see, came right off. Around these meters, we don't want to spray too much water. But we got to get them clean, and we're going to not be clean in that. We got some vines here. I'll do a whole nother video about those vines and what we need to do to get rid of them, and if we can get rid of them, and all that kind of thing. Again, you can see that we still got a little bit of green. I can, you know, I'm, I'm, I can knock a lot of it off, but obviously we're going to need to hit it one more time. And we'll come over here, clean this back wall, right across here. This was all pretty nasty green. It's all going to need a little bit more soap. And I'll show you what happens if we don't use soap. 
Um, if we don't get a good clean on it, you'll, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Um, I actually got some right here that I see that is kind of what I was talking about, the whole thing about um, not hitting it and all that kind of thing. You can see right here on this little white drip edge going up through there, it's not very clean, obviously. Um, so this is where there's a lot of heat that comes out from underneath those shingles. And so this is why sometimes we might have to hit that fascia twice to make sure that that's all clean and, and that kind of thing. Um, a lot of times we can hit it once, but sometimes with all that heat, it, it does need two times to be hit. So we turned our soap back on and we're going to soap this whole wall again because um, we're going to soap both of these walls. Now, I do have to soap them in that, but you can see I'm moving fairly fast getting this done. Again, I'm going to turn my on my wide nozzle and what why I want to do that for is, is so I don't use a burn a bunch of soap that I don't need to use because just because I burn a bunch of soap doesn't mean that we're actually cleaning. If we're not letting it dwell time, it won't clean. Um, and that is probably the most important thing. Again, I got grass in there, so I'm trying to get that grass out of there. All right, so we're going to sit here, wait till our soap comes on. Again, we got blue, means we got soap. So I'm going to just hit this wall all again because it had quite a bit of out we build up on this side here. Again, I'm going to hit that metal gutter real good. Um, this will make some really good before and after pictures. Um, and then, like I say, I will talk about these vines here in another video of what we need to do with them and everything like that. So again, like I say, I'm going to hit all this good, let it do its job, and then we'll come back and rinse it off and have a nice, clean house. And that's what we're looking for, a nice, clean house. Once we have... Let this sit. I'm letting it sit to make sure we heal the rest of that mold. Um, there is a few spots. Again, I have some bleach in my gun, so I'm going to hit any spots I might not. I'm going to hit that white piece there. And I got some stuff over there a little bit. And I'm just going to hit whatever might still be dirty. Once I know that I'm out of my soap, I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to just start rinsing from top down again. That way, I'm making sure that I do an excellent job. Where I'm in this corner, I can actually do both sides here. You know, I can come into that side there and hit that. Again, I don't have to be right up on this siding here. Now, I am using a, an 8-gallon-a-minute machine, or actually a 10-gallon-a-minute machine. And with a, a 4-gallon, you might actually have to get a little bit closer than what I am right now. Um, that is the beauty of having higher machines. Um, but again, this is something that if you got a four gallon, this is the, really what makes the difference between a four gallon and an eight gallon is the time that it takes to rent. So we're just going to rinse this all the way down, make sure that it's nice and clean. We don't have no mold left and all that awesome stuff. Once we get down here to the bottom, we got some scrap coming out of there too. All right, so I'm going to have to pick up my sunglasses. And that's another thing. A lot of times, you got to look up under heat and easy and make sure there's no dirt up into here. And sometimes you might have to look up here, and sometimes you will see dirt up through there. I don't see no dirt up through there, so I think we're good and clean there. Let me make sure over there we're all clean there. Just, we got some clump coming down through here. Make sure we get, on, get it all off there. And I hit this gutter one more time, and I'm going to clean this gutter out real good right here, down through here. So, after we get this tied down here, we want to talk about hose management. This is very important. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to actually pull this here, and, and I'll pull everything. And what I'm going to kind of do is, is kind of pull it toward the middle of the house, but I'm going to probably drop some of it right here in the middle, so I can go turn my soap on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull right here again making sure that I don't have no stuff. I'm gonna drop my hose right here. I'm gonna go turn my soap on. Now, I'm ready to start soaping across here. I'm gonna bring it up here, change my nozzle out into my 25 degree, wait till I start getting some soap. Good. 
give her soaping. We're just going to kind of get the, um, we're going to kind of shoot in behind them garbage cans. And we're just going to clean it just like we did everything else. Hitting that fascia board real good, being that there's a lot of heat up in there. We'll kind of come right up here, spray around here. And we'll clean this up. We're going to hit up in that vent. We don't want to spray a lot of water up in that vent. But if we get a little bit of water up into that vent, it's not going to hurt anything. Because usually it's so hot up in there that we don't have to worry about it. And when we're cleaning, we only want to do one side at a time. And the reason why we only want to do one side at a time is, is because it's going to take some time for us to get back there and rinse it back down. And so we want to make sure that we are able to make sure that we can get back there and rinse it and not let this soap sit on it. So again, I'm going to start right here around the flagpole so I can make sure. We're going to soap all this and we're going to talk about front doors here shortly. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and soap everything else. I'm going to stay away from the front door right now and I'm going to tell you why here shortly um, and then we'll we'll hit that door. That'll be a whole nother subject. And we're going to talk about shutters. Um, that's a whole nother subject too. But right now, we're just going to soak this whole house up. And we're going to whew, change out my nozzle so I can make sure I get good up there into that white trim. Again, we're going to spray up in this side here. Get it all nice. And we might have to hit it a couple different angles to try to get up into this house where it's kind of sitting back. Um, sometimes we can have a hard time getting up in there, so we're going to see what we need to do to get up in here. So I may have to come around right here and spray right in this corner right up through there. And bam. And I need to get that gutter all the way across. So I'm going to spray it. Get that gutter all the way down. Make sure it's all nice and clean up in there. Nice and soaked. And so that way. Alright, so once we have it all soaked. Again, I'm going to leave that front door unsoaked right now, and we'll talk about that in a whole nother video. We're going to come back over here, and we're going to rinse this all down and clean this all up nice. Again, if we have soap, we're going to use that up in the top, so that way that all gets soaked again. Might soap around that vent again. If there's any grease, we might hit it on the garage door. We'll talk about the garage door here shortly. Um, but again, we're going to just start rinsing it down. You see, we can just rinse this whole thing all the way across, and that works perfect, and, and it's perfectly okay. And then if I need to go into sections, I can just kind of hit that section, hit my garage door, come back over here, come all the way down, hit the Easter Bunny a couple times, and hit this garage door. Now, all right, and then we're going to move over here, and we're going to start at the top, go around this gutter here. Go all the way down through there. Get all the way to the end. Rinse it down. Rinse them windows good. Bring it all the way down. Bring it down, down, down. We're going to go up here. Bring this down. I did this earlier, so I'm going to rinse all this good. We're just going to make sure we're cleaning it nice and good, not missing any spots, all that great stuff. If I need to, I can just do a section, and usually I'll use my windows as my section part, and that way I can know that I'm double rinsing them windows, and they're not just only hitting once, but they're actually getting twice. And then I'll bring this on down, again, hitting my windows, letting that stuff really rinse it down, which that's what I want. And then I'll move over here and do the same thing. Clean all the way down. We're going to go ahead and move to our last section. So again, I'm going to take my hose right here, and I'm going to drop it. When I walk back to the truck, I'm going to turn on my soap, or turn off, turn on my soap. And when I come back, I'm going to bring me enough hose, so that way I can get down toward the end of this house. This is, the hose management probably is the most important thing. If you're fighting hose the whole time, it will take you forever. If you work with the hose and the hose works with you, you'll be a lot better off. So again, I'm going to go turn off the soap and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm turning on the soap. 
So I'm going to turn on the soap. I'm going to come here because I this is where I brought that hose before. I'm going to pick up a little bit of section of hose here. I'm not going to bring it all with me. I just want to bring me enough. Again, another thing we don't want to do is is we don't want to ever yank on a hose. If we ever yank on a hose, we are going to tear something up. We're going to knock something over, a flower pot, all that kind of stuff. Now, I know I don't might not need all that hose, so I might just bring this hose right here. I can bring it around here, grab my nozzle. I still have a nice loop coming right here. I can still see my hose. I'm not yanking on nothing. I'm already on soap. I'm going to switch to my 25 degree nozzle. We're going to sit here. We're going to flow it until we start seeing some blue. Because blue is good. And we are going to come right up here. We're going to soap this whole section right here. Now, I can change my nozzle out right there and finish up, or I can actually come on across and work my way up. Um, and again, I'm working nice little sections, not doing nothing too crazy here. Um, so this is just doing nice sections. I can get almost two and a half stories up. Again, I'm going to get on both sides of that gutter. Once I get there, I need to get to my 25 degree. I can probably do half the house with my 25 degree all the way to the top, making sure I'm getting that little piece of metal up there so it gets good and wet and dry, kind of cools it down a little bit. All right, wind's kind of getting me. If the wind is getting me on a two and a half story, I can change nozzle, get right up there, and hit it no problem. Again, on a four gallon a minute, you're going to have a little bit of an issue if the wind is blowing too much. I'm going to hit this gutter one more time. And now I'm going to go turn off my soap. Now that my soap is turned off, I'm going to come back, let this sit, you know, whatever I need to let it sit. And I'm going to start spraying from the top one more time. If I got soap in it, I'm going to hit that white trim. I'm going to hit them gutters. I'm going to hit anything that might be dirty. And once my soap is done, I'm just going to work my way back down here. Nice uniform pattern. And when we're looking at stuff like this, don't spray this stuff. You'll knock it over, bust it, and then you get to buy that stuff. Again, that was where I was talking about making sure that we are not breaking stuff before we get here. And that is stuff that we don't want to break. Um, breaking stuff is not good. That can be very bad. One thing we want to make sure is, is when we're coming around the house, and maybe even before we turn off our soap and stuff, we really want to make sure that we are watering the flowers, especially if we're using a strong bleach. If we're using a strong bleach, we really want to make sure, if we're using a strong house mix, or we're using the 12 volt, and we're using that three Three, you know, we're using a higher 1.5%. We really want to make sure that with the soap off, obviously, that we water all our flowers. And we can do this, like if I came around this side of the house, right, I've already on rent. So then I can sit here with my water and I can shoot all the way across there and hit every one of these flowers, hit all my flowers, all that kind of stuff. If I need to, I can make it a nicer pattern so I'm not really killing everything and knocking, knocking it over. So this is important to make sure that we wet everything. And then when we're cleaning, it's also going to put water on it too so we don't do it. I've never really had a hot problem with the house mixture that I tell you all. But if we get a little bit stronger, we definitely want to do it. If we're doing, if we're doing, this is how to do vinyl siding, obviously. If we're doing drive it where we're really using strong mix, you have to, you have to make sure you, you put enough pre-rent and that kind of thing.